you've got a business, you need a bot assistant. This is going to dramatically improve your customer service and get people booking in calls with you, buying your products and services way quicker. To turn on an AI bot assistant that's going to respond to all of your incoming inquiries from Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messenger, Google My Business, and more, on autopilot for you and even learn your entire website, services, products, everything by scraping your website. Super fast, here's how to do it. You're going to grab an account on techmatics.com. You can grab a free trial to begin with. And from there, go down to your settings. Inside settings, you're then going to click on conversation AI. Conversation AI is your bot assistant. You'll see at the top here, you've got bot settings, a bot trial, bot training, and configure intents. The first thing you wanna do inside your bot settings is switch it to autopilot. This means that your bot assistant is going to take over immediately. Now it's gonna ask you which of your channels, your communication channels you want your bot to operate on and respond to incoming inquiries for you. So you have SMSs, Instagram, Google My Business, Facebook at the moment. We will also be adding emails and things soon as well. So once you've chosen which channels you want your bot to autopilot operate on, then you might wanna put in some uh, business, a company or a business name, and then decide, so I'm just gonna put my name in here because that's what most people know when they're contacting me on this channel. And how long would you like the bot to wait before it responds? So I'm actually gonna change mine to seconds and I'm gonna get it to reply within two seconds. And then you might wanna choose the maximum number of uh, messages that a bot can send. So for instance, um, you might wanna reduce that down to a maximum of 10 messages, before the bot kind of says, okay, I'm gonna pass you over to a person now. Press save before you move on to anything else. This is up to you, obviously, what you wanna set that to. The next thing we wanna do is go to bot training. And this is where you can put in the URL of any website at all. Okay, you can choose all URLs within that domain right here and then press get data. Now this could be a blog, it could be a website, it could be a help articles domain. <laughs> if you are teaching people software, for instance, I don't know, maybe you teach Facebook ads and you want it to scan all of Facebook's help articles so that your customer support and customer service can be answered by the blog, as by the bot as well, because it's just going to basically scan the entire website that you put in here. And yes, you can put in more than one. You basically will wait for this to finish doing its job. Then you go and pop in the next URL that you want it to scrape and scan. It's gonna learn how to answer all questions that come through from your clients based on the blogs or the web pages or the domains URLs that you paste in here. Now, my website is enormous. I have thousands of blogs on here. So it, uh, mine will take a little bit longer. Smaller websites will take a couple of minutes. Um, so I'm gonna just let that do its thing for a moment. It will then pop up with another option to then load all of the training here. And as you can see, these are different pages on my website that my bot has scanned and it now marks itself as trained in that area. If there's any pages that it's failed on, you simply press refresh and it will just rescan that page and it will then say trained. And obviously you can go through here and have a look at all the different ones. Now, the other thing you can do when you're first beginning is create some customized responses to your most common questions. This is gonna really help your bot understand your tone and how to answer the most important questions that you get. So for example, example, I teach people how to create online courses and create their course tech. So I might, uh, I often, very often get the question like what platform or what tech should I use to host an online course? So you're going to put something along the lines of that question. Um, what platform All right. And then we're gonna go and pop an answer in here. I've now added a template reply that I'd like my bot to use and press save. So you can see there now I've got a couple of different options. You can add as many sort of customized responses as you like. I'd recommend listing at least the top 10 questions that always come through just at the first stages as your bot starts learning how you like to respond to people. So you can see now that this website has now loaded. We can press view all pages and then select all of them and train the bot. So I'm actually gonna leave that one out, train bot. 
and now this is going to start scraping all of those pages. So you see here, that one's actually just picked up all of the ones that hadn't yet been configured. So I'm gonna leave that now and move on to configure intents. Now this is where at the moment, this bot is predominantly designed to get people to book calls with you. So before you configure this stage, you'll have to go into your calendars section and create your appointment slots. This is where you can choose a 15 minute free strategy call, you know, a 30 minute strategy call, a paid consult, a paid coaching session, whatever kinds of appointments you want people to book. And all of the appointment slots that you've created will then show up here. So I personally like to direct people to book a paid one hour consult with me, or for you, it might be that you wanna get them on a sales call or a 15 minute strategy session so that you can talk through your services. Up to you where you want to send people, but basically whichever one you put here will be the calendar appointment bo box that your uh, bot is gonna send people to. Okay, so now you can choose here whether you want, uh, sorry, if, I was about to cough then, only if you want the a bo a bot to just send the link to the calendar. If you turn that on, the client basically will be sent the link to the calendar and then they will have to go in, choose and find the right appointment and then do it for basically them. Um, if you turn that off, then the bot will actually book an appointment for them and send them the confirmation link. Now for me, because this is a paid consult, um, I'm keeping that checked on. I want the client to go through, choose the right time for them and pay for their appointment. So I'm keeping my checkbox on. I want the client to book the call themselves. Um, now, conversation flow, this is where you, if there are specific questions you want to ask people before somebody books a call with you, this is where you can add questions. Like for me, I might ask, um, do you already have any online courses? Or do you already have a platform that you're using? You know, there might be questions that I just wanna know the answers to, and I want my bot to ask before they get given an appointment booking link. Now I'm gonna leave it open because for me that's not necessary. And I'm gonna press save. And that's it, it's on. So now I'm gonna to go to the bot trial section and this is where you can test how your bot is going to reply. Um, so at the moment, we want to choose people, uh, the, the slot for people to book appointments with us, if that's your intent. If it's just gen general question and answers that you want your bot to do, then switch it to general question and answers. But for me, I really want people to sort of be pushed into booking it, not pushed obviously, but you know, be given that option to, to book a call with me to really get the support that they need. So, you know, just come up with random questions that your audience might ask. Like again, what platform should I use? Now, obviously that was a template answer, so hopefully my bots, okay, so at the moment it's going to go straight in to book an appointment with me. Um, oh, so I'm gonna go, no, that's not the right answer. Um, edit the response, okay, train bot. So this is now where you can start training it. Bot has now been trained successfully. Let's ask it again. What platform should I use? Please book an appointment. Okay, so let's change it to general question. and it should now be more question answery. Let's see what it does now. All right, so it's uh, summarized it. Now this might be shortened because of the fact that we've turned on SMS and it only wants to keep the characters under an SMS limit. Um, I don't know how much should I sell a course for? Let's see if it's scraped my website and found out this information <laughs> of how I'd answer this question. But this is where basically dump in all of your questions. If you're not happy with the reply that the bot has given you, um, you are going to press down and then give it a customized response. If you're happy with it, click tick. And this is basically where you continue to train your bot and how you want it to reply to that kind of question. So the more you come in here and say, yes, that's correct, or no, that's wrong, this is what I want you to do instead. Um, this is where you can kind of edit this and it will start learning as it goes. But basically now in bot settings, you can see that the autopilot is on. That is now live. Now I'm gonna do a test to show you how this works. So I've just got onto my business Facebook page and I'm going in to ask my bot a question. Um, so I've just said hello and it said, hello, how can I assist you today? So this is my bot now live. Um, I want to create a course, but not sure where to start. Let's see what it says. Should be one, two seconds. Oh, it's taking a little bit longer. Let's see what she does. 
Okay, that just took a few more seconds, so I just paused it. Um, so it said, okay, to start creating a course, you can follow the following steps. And it has used my steps. That's great. And it's given me a link to book a call. How good is that? Okay, I'm going to say thank you. Um, I don't know, tell me more about how I pick the topic. Do you have any resources? I'm going to see if it picks out any of my blog posts here. Okay, and it said, when picking a course topic, consider your expertise, passion, or validate your idea for market reach and surveys. Okay, so this will keep going for up to 10 answers because we put 10 as the limit in. So I might say, thank you. What about pricing it? Let's see what it says. I'm just going to keep challenging this bot. <laughs> we can keep going back into the trial area. If we don't like the response that it's giving, then we're going to go, see it's, that one's answered really quickly. Um, then we're basically going to go back into our conversation AI settings. We're going to go back to bot training. And you know, this is where now we can actually go in and either pop in links to certain blog posts, or we can add a QA and a here. And that will allow us then to put the preferred reply to that kind of question. So keep playing around with this. Um, as you can see here, when it comes to pricing your course, there are a few factors to consider, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and again, it's uh, offered me the opportunity to book a call. So this will take place now on all of those channels that you have turned on. So over here in your bot settings area, in your supported channels, your SMS, Instagram, Google My Business, and Facebook. That is going to turn your bot on. Your assistant is live. It's going to answer all of your inquiries straight away. It's going to start learning everything about you from your websites, your blogs, and your customized and edited responses. And it's going to fill your calendar with leads and clients so that you can massively increase your sales. Absolute game changer. You can take a holiday and watch those appointments pour in. If you need any help, contact us on support at techmatics.com or go to the Techmatics website and book yourself a demo call or get a free trial. Happy tech in. Techmatics, love your tech.